We will now look at the pressure contours on the surface of the blade. Let's add a contour plot by clicking on this icon. We're going to name it pressure contour. Now here we can see that the pressure is the variable selected, so that's okay. Next, let's increase the number of contour lines to say 110. Finally, go into render and uncheck lighting. I personally think that it's easier to see the contours without the lighting effect. And then click apply. I'll turn off the wireframe this time. So the takeaway from this plot is that the pressure is lower on the back surface of the blade compared to the front surface of the blade. Realize from the color scheme that the red regions which show positive pressures have about the same magnitude as the green regions that show negative pressures. The blue regions, however, are much higher in magnitude and therefore have more weight towards the negative pressures. So this pressure difference between the front and the back surface creates a lift force and it points it normal to the back surface of the blade. So because the blade is not fully perpendicular to the ground, there is a component of the lift in the direction of rotation, which is the XY plane. The component of the lift in the negative Z direction has a large effect on blade deflection, which we will see in part two of this tutorial. As always, save your project.